I cannot believe this one. Um, hey everybody, this is Modest Room Chick, and this is the news that we're just hearing because, you know, cybersecurity is so important. And it's so important that, well, Obama's putting on, remember the people that did that Obamacare website that they're having so many problems with? That, what, it costs $700 million to do? But, you know, all these companies are saying they could do it for a million dollars in, what, a few months? Well, guess what? They did such a great job <clears> that they're now going to be doing, yes, cybersecurity. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on him and stuff today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they said unless the Republicans bow down before everybody and give, uh, give amnesty to 30 million people, the party is finished. And that uh, the business people yesterday who are liberal Democrats said, the Tea Party is over. The Tea Party has destroyed the Republican Party. And then they come out with NBC News, the disaster for the Democrats. Mm. So they said that, once again, the President of the United States has done more than anyone could possibly imagine to make certain that the Republican Party is revitalized. Um, Obama, now officially known as NNO by the press. I know. That means no nothing Obama. Basically, the comics are calling him no nothing now. Oh. Well, because the, uh, this morning CNN put out a story that they're checking into what they have been told by people in the White House staff that the president is being deliberately kept out of the loop on all of the important issues because that they know that if he does one single thing wrong, it will be the last minority president ever to be elected in this country because they said they... The Republican Party is inherently Jim Crow in nature, and they they would take every opportunity to destroy a black president if they could get the, get away with it. Uh, well, yeah, uh, I thought it was already somewhat decided that that was the last minority president since he's. There'll never it up be another good. minority president because yeah. it just is never going to happen. The only reason he had okay, Hillary Clinton would have been the president if he hadn't have been there. And they be, uh, well, Hillary's expected to be the president in 216. Not if she can't handle. The only way she's going to be able to handle Benghazi is to say the president of the United States knew all about it and the president gave these orders. He, she's going to have to, the Clintons wouldn't do it. She will have to put him in a position where he has to go to jail in order for her to be president because they'll. I mean, the See, press, they might be willing to do that. Oh, CBS 60 Minutes tore the White House and Hillary Clinton apart over Benghazi. They said that her defining moment in her entire political career was when she said, what does it matter? That's past history. They said that she's never going to be able to get by that That's line. That's a difficult one to live yeah. down. Detroit bankruptcy trial veers off course as Governor Rick Snyder takes the stand. Well, yeah, the, the Democratic governor that supports the unions wants to make certain that all the unions are taken care of. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. So he wants to stop the bankruptcy, saying, well, they can, they, I think he said, they, they negotiated in bad faith that they knew that they had the money to pay these bills. They don't have any money. Two-thirds of the city's base has left the city. Businesses aren't coming there, they're leaving there. You can't pay, you can't, okay, if you could barely pay with over a million, two hundred thousand people population, you can't pay with barely three hundred thousand people in a city. And French far right wins bellwether by election. Yeah, because they, uh, with, uh, here's the thing is, they said the, uh, they're, they're supposed to have a, you know, a series of soccer matches, uh, you know, for the uh, was it Olympic uh, trials, the soccer teams are all refusing to come to France because of the massive tax revolt that the French people have on the government. He, this guy literally has major stars in the country of France moving out of France and refusing to film in France now. And Obama and Netanyahu discussed Iran. They're, wait, they're refusing to film in France? They're refusing to do any work whatsoever in France because of the tax structure. We're basically, uh, there's a 70% tax on anything you do in France now. So why would you want to go to France and shoot a movie? Why would you want to live in France? Why would you want to go to the Cannes Film Festival? You figure, if you're going to pump a million dollars into a, 
into a, into a project in a can that's going to run you nearly $2 million to do it. Are you serious? That's right. Oh, that's horrible. Obama and Netanyahu discuss Iran. Uh, because basically Obama was very unhappy when he and when the Iran, when the Israelis said that within the next 30 days they'll have their first nuclear weapon, and Obama says, "Was well, six months to a year off? It's now within 30 days, and they could have had." I heard one guy said, oh, was, "I listened to last night one of the experts. He said, he said, you know, give me a few, give me a million bucks, and I'll go to a Soviet republic and bring you back a nuclear weapon. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to build the things. They're laying around for anybody that wants to buy them in Soviet republics." And Medicare monthly premium to stay at one hundred and four dollars and ninety cents. No, it's they were never a hundred and four dollars and nineties. Hey, oh, what does what does Lee Obama said? Uh, anybody see me? I'm old. You can find nobody in the God known universe that pays a hundred and four dollars in in those things. My people, my age category, basically a lot of them have to choose between medical care or heating their homes and stuff uh, or eating. Because it costs so much money. It's talking $104 a week, maybe, not a month. Oh, $104.90 a month would be really nice, would it? But it, it? It's, in a, it's in a fool's universe, like Obama's last night. That the average, the average pay for a, a person under the age of 30 is $57 a month, even though the law requires that you have to pay a minimum of $63 a month. So, therefore, you can't have an average minimum at 60, 57, if it is written into law, 63 is what you have to pay. And UN panel says Japan nuclear workers may have got high radiation report. Well, they were working in a nuclear area, folks, that had was an exposed reactor and all that water. I think that you basically had, now, who built that thing? Oh, General Electric built it. Mm. And White House, half of young adults can get coverage for $50. Yeah, that's yeah what I'm I was wondering, what? They're all, I mean, they, okay, this came out, they said immediately following NBC's announcement, breaking news, the, uh, that the Obamacare website, when it is functioning, it, it does good for signing people up for Medicaid, but they're not signing up for Obamacare. Oh, what does the Obama say? Because the premiums are so high, they can't afford it. So they're taking the free stuff versus paying for it, mm -hmm. and then getting only what they need. And uh, so therefore, and it was never $50-some dollars. Like Obama says, it is in the law. You pay a minimum of $63, which they said, oh, they said they never read the law. They just make up things they go along. Uh -huh. And Facebook, Facebook reportedly puts off adding video ads until next year. Well, they said, uh, one I was watching on, uh, I have the, Actually, the, the lady Mountbatten, Monty, likes to watch the financial news, and so we watch it while we're taping. It, it said right there, experts have said there's no way Facebook can make any money with, on mobile. And if they can't make money, on Facebook is not really inclined to do mobile. I mean, I'll get, you know, uh, it, 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 because what happens is the more people you have on your Facebook account, the more likely you are to shut off the feature that notifies you what's going on. I only have like 400 people, so I, I don't worry about it. But you imagine a guy with, uh, you know, 50,000 people? Mm -hmm. He never looks at the mobile. And police say Colorado shooting suspect had a Batman mask. He was dressed as the Joker. Oh. Yeah, he, he was dressed as the Joker, wanting to know where Batman was. But the guy, according to the authorities, is saying, well, he's already been declared a loony, folks. Yeah, I mean... They're trying a person that already is committed that he, he's, he's guilty. Uh, he said he's guilty on the grounds of it. He was in... He's told, you know, he pled guilty and insanity, and they said, well, we're going to put him on trial as being sane so we can execute him, which they mm -hmm. don't do in the state of Colorado to begin with. Oh, my gosh. And U.S. jury rules against Bank of America in mortgage cases. Well, you know, the problem is Bank of America did not own Countrywide, and Bank of America, if it wasn't being ran by the President of the United States, wouldn't be paying off these fines. They'd be telling people to stuff it. They, they were forced to take over the assets of Countrywide by government order. Now they're having to pay all the legislation against Countrywide. And um, a, Mont but a Monty bubble is in the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. That you 
actually ought to read the bills that you put into legislation.